What is up, people of the world? John here, and today I'm going to show you guys three awesome Super Famicom exclusives that we never got over here in the U.S. And for me, when I buy Super Famicom games, it's for two reasons. One, Japanese exclusives, obviously, and two, oftentimes, not every time, but oftentimes, those Japanese games are a lot cheaper over there than they are over here in the U.S. Um, one of these games I actually found by buying a lot of games, and uh, it's this game right here. We'll get to that in a second. But anyways, guys, let's check out these three awesome Super Famicom games that only came out in Japan. Okay, so the first game I want to talk about is Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. So if you guys are familiar with the Macross series, it's more of an anime. But they do have some shooters for certain systems, the Super Famicom being one, uh, the Sega Saturn. I could think of a pretty good one on the Game Boy Advance, actually, that we got out here in the U.S. But Macross Scrambled Valkyrie is a 1993 horizontally scrolling shooter developed by Winkysoft and published by Zamus, exclusively for the Super Famicom. This game features three fighters, seven stages, and three choosable weapons and some pretty great sprite work. This game doesn't have the cool parallax scrolling that you've probably seen in games like Glay Lancer, but the scrolling puts you in environments that get the job done. Since the Macross series is more of an anime than a video game series, all the games are different with only a few being really good spaceship shooters. Now, Macross Scrambled Valkyrie can be tricky to track down, and used copies can, they can be pretty pricey, and you know, I'm talking about card only, I'm not even talking about complete. So, if you have the extra money, track down a copy of this one. If you're a fan of the genre and have the means to play Super Famicom games, then this is a no-brainer. And just on a side note, I do want to say this about Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. I think one of the reasons that this game is on my list is because, not only is it a great game, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is a fantastic shooter, but this is a game I've been trying to track down for many years. I cannot find this game anywhere. Every town I go to, any game store, any retro game store, any convention, anywhere they sell any import video games at all, I always ask, do you have a copy of Macross Scrambled Valkyrie? And you know what the last guy told me? The la at MAGFest, at MAGFest, the guy that sold the imports right in the front door, the guy told me at MAGFest, verbatim, we don't sell games like that, or we don't have games like that, so the, he knew what I was talking about. But it's just one of those games. I get people that have copies of Macross Scrambled Valkyrie. They do not let them go. And the price reflects that. So, man, this is one of those games I do not want to have to resort to buying this game online. I really want the, the, the gratification of actually finding a copy somewhere. So, hopefully, you know, say a prayer for me, guys. You know, hopefully one day that'll happen. Okay, so next up we have Super Variable Geo, but first, let's check out this intro. So Super Variable Geo, let's just call it Super VG for short. This is actually a game that I bought in a lot of games. So every now and then, you know, not often, maybe a couple of times a year, you know, I'll get maybe a dozen, a couple of dozen Famicom or Super Famicom games really cheap because people don't want to go through them. They don't want to have to look what the, the labels are and figure out what the game is. So, I'll, I'll, and I oftentimes don't know what these games are either, so I got to take them home, you know, I'll oftentimes clean the boards, you know, bust out a little clone system and, you know, test them out, go through the cards, see if the game's any good. I find a lot of good uh, platformers every now and then I get lucky I find a shooter that way. But this is one of the games that I happen to find that way, and this game is Super Variable Geo. So Super Variable Geo is actually the only game that I own physically on this list, and coincidentally it's also the cheapest. So if you couldn't tell already, Super VG is a 2D fighter in line with, let's just say, the Street Fighter series. But it also has an all-female cast, so that's kind of similar to games like Arcana Hearts or SNK Heroines. 
Now, I did have to turn to Wikipedia for more information on this one because finding information online was kind of tricky. But according to online sources, Super VG is an entry in a long time Japan only fighting series. This series had releases on NEC systems, uh, the Sega Saturn, the Sony PlayStation, and yes, of course, the Super Famicom. And it had 13 games in total. Now, Super VG has fun gameplay, and the controls are tight, and it feels a lot like a Street Fighter game. And that's fine and all, but what gets me about this game is the story. So in this game, you're a bunch of female waitresses, and you compete in a tournament called the VG. Now, the winner of the VG gets $10 million in a dream home anywhere in the world. And that sounds great, right? So here's where it gets kind of weird. The loser gets humiliated in ways that I probably should not talk about on my channel. For more information on that, I'm sure you can do your research and look for it online. Okay, so this last game is called Rendering Ranger R2. So I was so excited to find out about this game. There's so many things I could say about it. Let's start off by saying this is a multi-genre game. And what I mean by that is it's part shoot 'em up and obviously you can see the footage, it's part run and gun shooter. And so those game mechanics, sometimes they don't work, but oftentimes they do, you know. Uh, some examples of that would be like Sigma Star Story, uh, Rock Ignite Adventures, Wonder Boy 3, Astro Boy, eh, debatable and Guardian Legend. Now, this is one of those games, if I had to sum up Rendering Ranger R2 in one word, that word would be awesome. So, Rendering Ranger R2 is a 1995 horizontally scrolling shooting game developed by Rainbow Arts and published by Virgin Interactive exclusively, as far as I know, for the Super Famicom. So guys, I haven't completely finished this game, I haven't finished the whole game, but I will tell you my experience with this game so far because it's pretty hard and I got to memorize a lot of the enemy bullet patterns and stuff like that. So this is a running gun shooter. It starts off anyway, kind of like Gun Lord. It's a lot like Gun Lord. If you guys have played Gun Lord, if you have the, the AES or MBS version, I, I, I doubt that. I've never even seen one in person. But, you know, some of you might have the Dreamcast version. I have the Dreamcast version. I love that game. This game, Rendering Ranger R2, starts off just like Gun Lord. After the second level, this game turns into the most like hardcore, you know, not like almost like bullet bullet hell ish kind of shooter. You could tell it was like that real primitive, you know, bullet hell kind of kind of thing going on. And it's hardcore, man. And it has, you know, interesting game mechanics. You know, you can shoot uh, behind you in the game, which, you know, you know, sometimes turns me off in shooters when you can shoot behind you because it just throws, that's just too much mechanic sometimes, you know, shooting behind you. But this game does it, you know, kind of clever. It does it well. It does it in a way that's not going to interrupt the gameplay, you know, too much. You know, I say that, but I still haven't finished the game. But, so the first two levels, run and gun shooter. Then you jump in your airplane, levels three and level four, hardcore, you know, shoot them up. You know, like super awesome shooter. Um, you know, this game was a super limited release in Japan from what I've heard. You know, no reason that the game goes for what it goes for. People that know about this game, they pursue it. Uh, at the end of the video, we will talk about prices on all of these games. And, uh, you know, this one, this is one of those crazy ones. So, you know, just throwing it out there. And I just want to say this about Rendering Ranger. You know, for the fans of my channel that have a very similar taste in video games, Download this game and play it. Trust me on this one. You are not going to regret it. This game is so much fun. Okay, guys. So I feel like those three games are pretty killer on the system, especially Macross Scramble Valkyrie and especially Rendering Ranger R2. Now, let's talk about the prices on some of these games and how you should play them. So Super Variable VG, you know, the fighting game, you know, 20 bucks loose. $50 complete. So you can find that game online for right around $20. Macross Scramble Valkyrie, loose, that's going to cost you right around $70. Now, if you want that one complete, that one's going to cost you around $180. Now, you can get a repro of Macross Scramble Valkyrie online for right around $40. And some people throw manuals and posters and boxes in there. So get a repro if you can, or download an emulator, get a ROM. Now, Rendering Ranger R2. So that game is like $900 loose. Complete, it's gonna cost you two to 3,000 depending on condition. A repro on that game is gonna cost you right around $15. They sell them everywhere online. 
all the most expensive games to make tons of repros of, so it's easy to get a repro of Rendering Ranger R2, but you can download an emulator and get the ROM for free, so you might want to do it that way before you kick that money out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Now, remember to like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace out.